Listen. You smell something? Let's check out the teams. Now, Quillen's deal why? Bismo Funyuns. You got the like mango? Murgatroyd, Skittle. Quiznatan business. Mama Doon Shazbot. Swordless Lime Town. Grunky Peep. Fudge. Everybody's talking about fudge. At 350 pounds, this running back is almost unstoppable the whole year. You're right. I could talk about fudge all day. But first, let's meet the players from the West. Exquisite team, Buble Schwinslow. Hookah Laka Naka, Haka Naka Hika Luka Hookah Haka Fat. Squeeze! Brandy for his friend! Triple Pelican Shoe. God. Homeschool. Matt Ryan and the Atlanta Falcons taking on Daniel Jones and the New York Giants. First opened in 2017, there's a look at the beautiful state-of-the-art Mercedes-Benz Stadium here in Atlanta, GA. A moment ago, here was the scene, the Falcons coming out from their tunnel to the roar of all the folks here in Atlanta. We're ready for football as these Falcons get set to match up with the New York Giants. Young Way Koo all set to do the honors, and we are underway from Atlanta. Cooper on the return. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. The former number six overall pick of 2019, Daniel Jones, trots out to lead this New York Giants offense. I still remember when he was drafted, there was a little bit of controversy about how high he was selected by the New York Giants, but his talents were revealed. He can make every throw in the book. Surprisingly good athlete. As long as he takes care of the football, doesn't turn it over, he can really make plays. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Here's a give to Barkley, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and four coming up. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. Now Jones from the gun on third down. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. Had to put that ball in there with a little extra zip, but he put it right where it needed to be. Yeah, and that little extra pace that he had on the pass, that required a little extra concentration for him, didn't it? Ball can get on you pretty quick in that manner, and he handled it well and picked up the first down. Yeah, he's able to push his way forward somehow for a gain of about two yards. Second down now. Running again with Barkley on second down. And he's over midfield and into Falcon territory. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. From the gun on third down, Jones. And his guys are going to take over at their own 48-yard line. Matt Ryan, the longtime Falcon, a veteran who's been in the league since 08, ready to guide this Atlanta offense. And when you start with listing a guy's accomplishments like Matt Ryan's, all these years in the league, near the top of the league in completions and percentage, touchdowns each and every year, has won an MVP, taken his team to the Super Bowl. You're talking about a guy who might be finished, but he still has gas left in the tank. Big right arm, great leader, the face of his franchise. And yeah, that's just a solid, good physical run there as he motors for nine yards. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. A shotgun handoff to Patterson. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. But I'll bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. They'll throw on first down with Ryan. It's hauled in by Lee Smith. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. 
Well, normally you see three tight ends in a formation. You have to think to yourself, this has got to be a run. And I know as a safety, when I saw that, I took an extra step or two towards the line of scrimmage. Instead, they threw the ball, and he found one of those tight ends for a very nice pickup. No score after one on EA Sports. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. The former Gamecock here. This is Mike Davis. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. But we always talk about good down and distance, allowing offenses to expand their playbook. Well, second and two, that means your playbook's wide open. You can run just about anything. But a lot of times, the play caller, he just looks down at his sheet, sees the short yards runs, and goes to one of those. And he's able to break out of one tackle, but then quickly brought down. That catch good for only a couple. Looked like the screen pass was taken away there, but what a nice job improvising, finding other options, and completing the pass anyway. On second down, it's Patterson. And here he'll get it down to the seven. And still about three yards shy of a first as the four-yard pickup brings it to third down. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. He did a fine job there of not hitting it before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. And his kick is right there. It's good. And the Falcons are out to a 3-0 advantage. So an opening drive field goal maybe doesn't whip this crowd into a frenzy, but I think that they will take the early lead. There's no doubt about it. They will always take the early lead, and maybe that celebration comes later if they play well and they can break things open. But right now, this is all about letting the offense just get settled in. Cooper on the return. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Now here comes Daniel Jones in the Giants again. And he comes out on the heels of an interception he threw last time they had the ball. Yeah, and you know, the quarterbacks that I know that are the best ones, the ones that really know how to lead their team, they tell them, that's on me. That's my bad. But let's go back out there and move ahead again, guys. We can get this done. One good thing for him, it did only lead to three points and not a touchdown after that turnover. Big thanks to the defense. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll take you to Orlando and Jonathan Coachman. Coach will have highlights and analysis of this first half, one that's featured no touchdowns as of yet on either side. So his job's a little bit easier for this halftime. Need to, give the, need to give the coach some highlights here. Yes, we do. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Trying to lay one up deep. And this is, oh my goodness, he pulled it in one-handed. It's a big play for the Giants on third down. This offense has been slow to get started, but that play will certainly give them a little bit of life. Maybe the late wake-up call that they had been seeking. So now then, the big play has them all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. He's certainly done a nice job spreading the field on this drive. And here he finds his big tight end for good yardage. And that's what you have to do. Keep defenses guessing about where you're going to go with the football. Could we get a touchdown in this first half after all? It's first and 10. Looking to throw. Jones. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Similar to a shooter in basketball who just connected on the previous shot. They run another set for him on the next play. Now, we had a guy who made the catch. They tried to get the big one downfield, but came up empty. 
to throw once more on second and 10. Jones, throw left side, taken in by Galladay. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one. So third and two, and I count six defensive backs out there. Back to throw. Jones. That's to Galladay, and he's got it. Touchdown, New York. A seven-yard touchdown grab, and the Giants have taken the lead. Bouncing back nicely from that bad opening drive where he threw the interception. Drive number two leads him right down the field and into the end zone. So obviously his confidence was never lost, and that's a good thing to see. Great quality to have. You absolutely must maintain that as a quarterback. But I have to think that they're probably still on the script that they prepared for this game. Just the second drive. They've worked on these plays all week in practice. Put them, in, put them to good use on that one. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. On the return, here's the dangerous Cordero Patterson. And the Falcons now are going to go on offense late in this first half. And they've got a little under 40 seconds to go if they want to try to put something together here. On first and 10, it's Ryan. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. A little too aggressive defensively, and the flag comes out. And no one trying to cover is going to like a call going against them, but you have to like the effort there. Went for the interception, just unable to get it, and the flag did come out. Sailed a bit, but the catch is still made. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. Ryan. And this is caught for a Falcon touchdown. Olamide Zacchaeus there to make the grab. And the Falcons on just two plays have taken the lead. That could be an important swing right there. A touchdown of the final minute of the half to take the lead. And I like the point you just made there. Could be an important swing because now that they have the lead, if they can carry that into the locker room at the half, they'll feel really good about what they accomplished in the first two quarters. Two able to connect on the extra point. And the lead is now 10 to 7. They had the short field and they made quick work of it. Just two plays to get into the end zone. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. Cooper on the return. And up to about the 26 yard line, just across the 25. But the focus shifts back to Daniel Jones and company. He's had a solid start to this game, but bottom line is they're losing, so he doesn't care about his stats. He just wants to right the ship on the scoreboard. He wants to actually increase his stats because he feels like if he does, that means things will get better for his team, maybe get him back into the ball game or into the lead. In these situations, I remember playing with a quarterback once where he actually ran out onto the field first ahead of everyone else just to say, guys, let's go. Try and create that energy, create that spark. Well, so far, he has one touchdown, one interception. He'll be looking for that second touchdown now. So we are at halftime here in Atlanta with the Falcons out in front. As we'll send you down to Orlando, and we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome, everyone, to this abridged version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one's been as good as advertised. Just a field goal separating these two teams as they've already made their way back out of the locker room. So to bring you the story of the second half, let's get you right back out. To Brandon Guy. Okay, Coach. Yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. Cordero Patterson to return it, bringing it out of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Falcons ready to go back to work to start the third quarter. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. 
and have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys, they're tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. Meanwhile, Ryan's throw into the hands of Pitts here. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. Five in the secondary now for the Giants here on third. Now Ryan. And a throw there going to be incomplete. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. So just a three-yard return following a punt of 45. And it'll be Giant football first and 10. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their own 26. They'll drop it off with Saquon Barkley. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. They'll go to Barkley again. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. He'll find a man over the middle. It's Galladay. Evades the tackler and now some space. And he takes this thing way down into Atlanta territory. A big play there on the catch and run. The thing that hurt on that play, the missed tackle, that allowed the extra yardage. It's a matchup game in the NFL. You get the guy that you want isolated, have him miss a tackle, and off you go. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Here's second and one now from the seven. Operating from the gun, Jones. Sideline pass, so that's complete to Ingram. They got a completion there, but that's clearly an example of one side happy, the other side not very happy. Defense, very, <laughs> hey, take one or two yards, we're good with that. Offense, you got to expect to get more on the passing play. Avoids him at the five. Stops short, down at the one. Had the broken tackle, but couldn't get it all the way home. So the scoring dried up here in the third. Nothing that quarter for either side. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Barkley again, and he takes it into the end zone for a giant TD. Saquon Barkley punching it in from a yard away, and the Giants are going to jump back in front. Gano now to add the extra point. And that makes it 14-10. So that drives seven plays in length. And it's capped off by a touchdown run from Saquon Barkley. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. From his end zone, here comes Patterson. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line. So the same result had he opted for the touchback. Here comes the Atlanta offense now ready to take over here. And now they'll look to answer working from behind. And remember, this offense has sputtered yet to score here in the second half. They'll need to change that here. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. Second and ten. Ryan. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. There is something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep, try to throw some air under it, and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they run successful. 
And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. They run with Patterson. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. <laughs> I know we can't hear what's going on in that huddle right now, but I'll guarantee you at least one offensive lineman is saying, my bad, we simply couldn't move him off the line of scrimmage. We've got to do a better job trying to root those guys out of there. Yeah, this one nearly intercepted. Boy, that would have been a great time for their first pick, but instead it's third down. Just work with me a second here, because in my lifetime, seeing how quarterback percentages have changed in throwing the football, I mean, back in the good old days, if you were around 50%, you were doing okay. But now, you need to be 65 to 70% to be considered an elite quarterback. And in this ball game, I feel like we're playing old school, right around 50%. Yeah, he's under 50%. He needs to start hitting more targets. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. There's a throw over the middle. It's taken in by his tight end. And they will get him down, but not before he gets very good yardage there. As that will lead us right into the two-minute warning. So it's Falcon football as we welcome you back. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here of what could be their final drive. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. 53 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. Is a first and ten at the 14-yard line. Here's Patterson. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. the lead here of course with a touchdown and that's what they're gunning for on first and goal here's ryan and this is caught touchdown and they've taken the lead here in the final minute wow i know it's a never say never situation but to me that looks like that's the one that's going to finish them off the score that puts them in front here late but not you got to rally your kick team don't you and say the last thing we need is a big return and what happens is guys get over eager, get out of their lane because they're so excited they want to make the last tackle. <laughs> you mess up, could come back at you a long way. Now an important extra point here to stretch this lead to a field goal. He's got it, and this is indeed up to a three-point lead. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it's capped off by the late touchdown that puts him out in front here in the final minute of the contest. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. Cooper on the return. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. So now Jones and the Giants down 17-14, 50 seconds to go. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. And his throw is incomplete. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again, second and 10 from the 25. Jones throwing over the middle and it's incomplete so back-to-back -back incompletions now third and ten and first things first before you think about marching the ball down the field you got to move the chains you're exactly right got to get back into focus here get the first down that's what's vital to them 
An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. Now Jones is hit. He lost the football. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this fourth quarter. One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Now Jones. He's going to let it fly. A leap, and he's got it. He got it. He takes it across for the touchdown, and they've taken the lead late in the final minute of the fourth. Wow. Wow. Might be seeing that one on the highlight shows tonight. The home run ball here in the fourth quarter to take the lead. There's nothing like being aggressive, preaching that to your team, and then following through. All the way through. Go ahead and throw one more up there. Why not? Been a great game, and we are not done yet. Gano for the extra point. It's up and good to make it 21-17. Just a four-play drive that time, and it was polished off by a Giants touchdown. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. Now it's Patterson. And he'll be out of bounds across the 25. And now the attention on the Falcons offense. Trailing by four, 27 seconds to go. They need a touchdown. A field goal is worthless now as they come up on first and 10. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that is going to be pulled in one-handed. Wow. It's a big play there for Atlanta. A one-handed catch, that's one thing, but with a defender right there, that was a heck of a play. It used to be that one-handed catch was instinctive in a game. Now it's a practiced move. They work on it before, after, during practice sessions. It becomes part of their repertoire, and it pays off. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10, just outside the 30. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And this one almost intercepted. Had a chance to come down with it in the end zone, but could not hang on. They took their shot for the end zone, almost cost them. And he made the right play there, knocking it away. But boy, it looked like he had a chance to come down with the football. And if he does that, this thing is over. Instead, he leaves them out there with another chance. Oh, and that nearly ended it. That should have been intercepted, but he cannot corral it. And that is a lifeline there with third down coming up. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have him looking at third and ten. One last shot for Ryan. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And this is going to be caught. It's caught. And they've won the football game. Here he comes. He's in the shadows. There he is. Is he going to make it? Yes, he did. Ladies and gentlemen, what you have just witnessed is the biggest moment in world history. Who cares about a declaration of independence or discovery of penicillin? You have just seen one man score a point. When the rest of the world discovers TV, they'll be able to see this. Wow, isn't that amazing? He did what he was paid to do. It got done. They now have the lead with that touchdown this late in the contest. I wonder if that was a play they were holding or a play that they just knew would work from past experience. Well, I just saw it in their eyes on the sideline before starting that last drive, and they did. You're right. They got it done. Looks like they're going to be the winners. So time runs out. It's a victory for the Atlanta Falcons, and it wasn't really always pretty. They had their bumps and bruises. Really, both sides did, but they did what they needed to do at home to get the win. Yeah, they really had to grind this one out, didn't they? Because nothing came easy. Every snap was a major league brawl. They had to win at the line of scrimmage, win downfield. They got all those things accomplished. But to win a close one like this, you know, every team wants to be physical. We've heard that a million times, right? But those who are mentally tough, those are the teams that you have to deal with in the playoffs. This was that type of a game. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn.
And this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sport. It's a win for the Falcons here as we say so long from Atlanta.